Hello everyone. Welcome to Akriti. Art of Mathematics, Simple Mathematics Classes. This is Relations and Functions Class 2. I am Sudhir MK. In this class, I am going to explain about relations, domain, codomain and range of a relation. Please subscribe the channel for more video notification. You can say a set P with Ranbir Kapoor, Abhishek Bachchan and Akshay Kumar and set Q with Aishwarya Rai, Deepika Patkone and Winkle Kanna. Now we studied to find Cartesian product. Suppose you consider two sets, we have three elements and Q have three elements. Total number of elements in Cartesian product is 3 into 3, it is 9. So in Cartesian product we have 9 elements. Now we consider P cross Q. Now here it is given P with Ranbir Kapoor, Abhishek Bachchan and Akshay Kumar and Q with Aishwarya Rai, Deepika Patkone and Twinkle Kanna. You have to find P cross Q. Now first we start with Ranbir Kapoor. So here it is Ranbir Kapoor, Aishwarya Rai, then Ranbir Kapoor, Deepika Patkone, Ranbir Kapoor and Twinkle Kanna. Next we start with Abhishek Bachchan. So here we get Abhishek Bachchan, Aishwarya Rai, Abhishek Bachchan, Deepika Patkone. Next it is Abhishek Bachchan, Twinkle Kanna. So next we start with Akshay Kumar. So it is Akshay Kumar, Aishwarya Rai, Akshay Kumar, Deepika Patkone and Akshay Kumar, Twinkle Kanna. So here we get 9 elements. 9 elements in Cartesian product. So there are 9 elements in P cross Q. Now here we consider relation. Now what is relation? Now you consider this Cartesian product. So here nine elements are there. So here we consider one relation husband. Now here we have Abhishek Bachchan. Abhishek Bachchan is husband of Aishwarya Rai and Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar is husband of Twinkle Kanna. Here only two order pairs satisfy this relation. That's Abhishek Bachchan is husband of Aishwarya Rai and Akshay Kumar is husband of Twinkle Kanna. So all other order pairs does not satisfy this relation. So relation means it is set of all order pairs which satisfies the given relation. So here relation is husband. So therefore here if relation is husband then we can write relation is Abhishek Bachchan Aishwarya Rai and Akshay Kumar Twinkle Kanna. Here relation R equal to Abhishek Bachchan Aishwarya Rai and Akshay Kumar Twinkle Kanna. So only these two order pairs satisfy the relation husband. So here relation is subset of partition product which satisfies the given relation husband. Now we say definition of relation. For two non-empty sets A and B, a relation R from set A to set B is the subset of A cross B consisting of ordered pairs A, B where A related to B by the relation R. So therefore, relation is a subset of A cross B which contains the ordered pair A, B such that A related to B by the relation R. So they will give some relation R. So you have to find all the ordered pairs which satisfies the given relation. So set of all these ordered pairs are called as relation. Let me say one example. So consider one set 2, 3, 7, 10 and B equal to 1, 3, 9 and R is the relation from A to B is defined as E is less than. So relation from A to B is defined as E is less than. So you have to find all the ordered pairs which satisfy this relation. So here relation is E is less than. Now you consider 2 and 1. So 2 less than 1 is not possible but 2, 3. So 2 less than 3 is correct. So first ordered pair is 2, 3. Then it is 2, 9. 2 less than 9 is true. So therefore we can write 2, 9. Next order pair is 2, 9. So next we start with 3. So it is 3, 1. 3 less than 1 is not true. So 3, 1 is not possible. Then it is 3, 3. 3 less than 3 is also not true. So therefore 3, 3 is not possible. Then it is 3, 9. So 3 less than 9 is true. So therefore we can write 3, 9. So then it is 7, 1. 7 less than 1 is not true. So it is not possible. 7, 3. It is not possible. 7, 9. It is possible. 7 is less than 9. So we can write next order pair 7, 9. So next we start from 10. 10 is less than 1 is not possible. 10 is less than 3 is not possible. 10 is less than 9 is not possible. So any order pair start from 10 is not possible. So therefore here relation is set of order pair 2, 3, 2, 9, 3, 9 and 7, 9. So only this order pair satisfies the given relation is less than. So therefore here relation is set of order pairs 2, 3, 2, 9, 3, 9 and 7, 9. It is a subset of Cartesian product A cross B. The second element is called the image of the first element. In order for A, B is called image of first element A. We can write a relation from set A to set B as set of all order pair A, B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B and A related to B is true. That is A, R, B is true means A related to B is true. So it is set of all order pair A, B such that A belongs to A. So first element should belong to first set, second element should belong to second set and A related to B should be true. We can find relation on a set also. So it is relation on a set A. Suppose the relation is on a set A, then relation is given by set of all order pairs A, B such that A and B both are elements of A only and A related to B is true. Now here relation is on a set A only. So here both elements are from set A only and A related to B is true. 
now we consider one example suppose you consider a equal to 238 and r is the relation on a defined by is a divisor of now you have to find relation on a set a only so first element is also from set a and second element is also from set a only now here you have to start from 2 now here 2 2 is possible so therefore 2 divides 2 is true so first element is 2 2 and 2 divides 3 is not possible 2 divides 8 is possible so next order pair is 2 8 so next you start from 3 3 2 is not possible so 3 does not divide 2 so therefore 3 2 is not possible next element is 3 3 3 divides 3 is true so therefore we can write 3 3 so next 3 divides 8 is not possible next we have to start from 8 8 is a divisor of 2 is not possible 8 is a divisor of 3 is not possible but 8 is a divisor of 8 is true so therefore 8 8 belongs to R. So therefore this R equal to 2, 2, 2, 8, 3, 3, 8, 8. It is a relation on a set A. So here first element is also from set A and second element is also from set A only. So it is relation on a set A. So next we define domain, codomain and range of a relation. So consider a relation R from set A to set B. Then the set of all first elements of the order pair in R is called the domain of R. The set of all first elements of order pairs in R is called the domain of R. So then we see what is codomain. The set B is called codomain of R. The second set B is called the codomain of R. And set of all second elements of order pair in R is called range of R. In a given relation, the set of all second elements of order pair R is called the range of R. So here we have to consider set of all second elements in the given relation, then it is called as range. Domain means set of all first elements of the order pair and range is set of all second elements of the order pair in the given relation R. If R is a relation from a non-empty set A to non-empty set B, suppose you consider two non-empty set A and B, then domain of R equal to set of all A such that A belongs to A and A comma B belongs to R. So here we have to take set of all first element of the order pair in the given relation. Therefore, domain of R is set of all first element in the order pair of the given relation. So next, range of R. Range of R equal to set of all B such that B belongs to P and A, B belongs to R. So range is set of all second elements in the order pair of the given relation. So range is set of all second elements. So next it is codomain. So codomain is full second set. So the second set is called codomain of R. So here domain, range and codomain of a relation. Consider one example. Suppose you consider A equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 and B equal to 3, 7, 10 and relation is 2, 10, 3, 3 and 5, 10. So here we can consider a divisor of. Now 2 is a divisor of 10 and 3 is a divisor of 3 and 5 is also a divisor of 10. So no other relation is possible. Now here we consider domain. So domain is set of all first element in the order pair. So here it is 2, 3 and 5. So first elements are 2, 3, 5 and the set 2, 3, 5 is called domain of this relation. Now here consider second elements. Second elements are 10 and 3. So here 10 is repeated. So therefore second elements are 10 and 3. This set that is set containing 3 and 10 it is called range of R. So here range of R is set of all second elements in the order pair. So next we consider second set. So second set is 3, 7, 10. This is called as codomain of R. So second set 3, 7, 10. It is called as codomain of relation R. Here set of first elements that is 2, 3, 5. It is domain. And set of second elements 10, 3. It is range of the relation. And full second set 3, 7, 10. It is called as codomain of R. Next we consider one more example. Consider a set with Amitabh Bachchan, Akshay Kumar and Dharmendar. Consider a set F with Amitabh Bachchan, Akshay Kumar and Dharmendar. So consider one more set S with Bobby Dayol, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Dayol. Set S elements are Bobby Dayol, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Dayol. Now consider a relation from F to S is father of. Then here relation R is set of all order pairs which satisfies this relation. Now here we have Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan is father of Abhishek Bachchan. And here we have Dharmendar. Dharmendar is father of Bobby Dayol. Also Dharmendar is father of Sunny Dayol. So therefore here order pairs are Amitabh Bachchan, Abhishek Bachchan, Dharmendar Bobby Dayol and Dharmendar Sunny Dayol. Therefore here relation is Amitabh Bachchan, Abhishek Bachchan, Dharmendar Bobby Dayol and Dharmendar Sunny Dayol. Only this order pair satisfies the given relations. Therefore here relation is order pair Amitabh Bachchan, Abhishek Bachchan, Dharmendar Bobby Dayol and Dharmendar Sunny Dayol. So in this relation, domain is set of first elements. Here first elements are Amitabh Bachchan and Dharmendar. Therefore here domain is Amitabh Bachchan and Dharmendar. So next we consider codomain. Codomain is full second set. So here second set contains Bobby Dayol, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Dayol. So therefore codomain of the relation is set containing Bobby Dayol, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Dayol. 
So next we consider range of the relation. Okay, range of the relation is set of all second elements in the order pair. So here second elements are Abhishek Bachchan, Bobby Doyle and Sunny Doyle. So therefore range of this relation is set containing Abhishek Bachchan, Bobby Doyle and Sunny Doyle. Now here first set contains Abhishek Bachchan, Akshay Kumar and Dharmendar. And second set contains Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Doyle. Now here domain is subset of first set and codomain is full second set and range is subset of second set. So range is always subset of second set. We can represent this relation in arrow diagram. So we can represent this relation in arrow diagram. Consider first set F containing Abhishek Akshay Kumar and Dharmendra. And second set yes containing Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Doyle. So second set containing Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Doyle. Now here Amita Bachchan is father of Abhishek Bachchan and Dharmendra is father of Bobby Doyle and Dharmendra is also father of Sunny Doyle. Now here relation is Amita Bachchan, Abhishek Bachchan, Dharmendra, Bobby Doyle and Dharmendra, Sunny Doyle. This is arrow diagram of given relation. Now we consider in this relation. So domain is set of first elements in the order phase. Here domain is Amita Bachchan and Dharmendra. Here Amita Bachchan and Dharmendra are the first elements in the order pair of even relation. And here codomain is full second set. So full second set is Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan, Ranbir Singh and Sunny Doyle. Codomain is full second set. So next we say range. So range is only set of images. So therefore here images are Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan and Sunny Doyle. So here images are Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan and Sunny Doyle. Therefore range is set containing Bobby Doyle, Abhishek Bachchan and Sunny Doyle. And range is always subset of codomain. So here range is subset of codomain. So consider one example. Suppose you consider A equal to 2, 3, 7, 10 and B equal to 1, 3, 9. Consider a relation is less than from A to P. So then relation is 2, 3, 2, 9, 3, 9 and 7, 9. So here 2 is less than 3, 2 is less than 9, 3 less than 9 and 7 is less than 9. So other order pairs are not possible. So therefore here domain of this relation is 2, 3 and 7. So set of all first element in the order pairs. It is 2, 3 and 7. So next we find codomain. Codomain is full second set. It is 1, 3, 9. So next it is range. So range is set of all second element in the order pair. So it is 3 and 9. So therefore range is 3 and 9. Here domain is set containing 2, 3, 7. Codomain is set containing 1, 3, 9. And range is set 3, 9. Here domain is set of all first element in the order pair. Codomain is full second set. And range is set of all second element in the order pair. Next we consider one node. So here range is always subset of codomain. In the relation range is always subset of codomain. Next is relation on a set A. So relation on a set A only. So for a non-empty set A, a relation R on a set A is the subset of A cross A consisting of all order pairs A, B where A related to B by the relation R. So it is relation on a set A. It is subset of A cross A. So here we have to consider both the elements from set A only. So therefore relation on a set A is subset of A cross A. It is all the order pairs A, B where A and B belongs to set A only and A related to B is true. So A related to B is true. A relation may be represented algebraically either by the roster method or by the set builder form. We can represent relation by the roster method or set builder method. An arrow diagram is a visual representation of a relation. So in arrow diagram also we can represent relation. The number of relations that can be defined from set A to set B is the number of possible subset of A cross B. The total number of relations from set A to set B is the number of possible subset of A cross B. Suppose you consider n of a is p and n of b is q, then n of a cross b is p into q and total number of relations is 2 to the power p q. So if a set contains p q element, total number of subset is 2 to the power p q. Now here a cross b contains p q elements, total number of subset possible is 2 to the power p q. So therefore total number of relations from a to b is 2 to the power p q. If a set A contains P element and set B contains Q element, then total number of relation possible from set A to set B is 2 to the power EQ. So total number of relation is 2 to the power EQ. Next we discuss problems. These problems are from exercise 2.2. First problem, let A equal to 1, 2 and B equal to 3, 4 find the number of relations from A to B. Now here set A contains 2 element and set B contains 2 element. Total number of relation is 2 to the power 2 into 2 that is 2 to the power 4 it is 16. So here A has 2 elements and B has 2 elements. Total number of relation is 2 to the power 2 into 2 it is 16. 
So next problem, let A equal to XYZ and B equal to 1 to find the number of relations from A to B. Now here set A has 3 elements, set B has 2 elements. So total number of relation is 2 to the power 3 into 2. So it is 2 to the power 3 into 2, 2 to the power 6, it is 64. Since N of A is 3, N of B is 2, total number of relations from A to B is 2 to the power 3 into 2, it is 2 to the power 6, it is 64. So it is total number of relation is 64. Therefore there are 64 relations from set A to set B. The next problem, so let A equal to 1 to 3 up to 14, define a relation R from A to A by R equal to set of all order for XY such that 3X minus Y equal to 0 where XY belongs to A. Write down the domain, co-domain and range. Now here given set A equal to 1 to 3 up to 14, so relation is defined on set A only. So here first element is also from set A and second element is also from set A only and relation is 3X minus Y equal to 0. You have to find domain, co-domain and range. Now here it is given r equal to set of all xy such that 3x minus y equal to 0 and xy belongs to a. Now 3x minus y equal to 0 implies y equal to 3x. Now substitute value for x, we can take x equal to 1 to 3 etc. Now when x equal to 1, we get y equal to 3. When x equal to 2, we get y equal to 3 into 2, it is 6. When x equal to 3, we get y equal to 3 into 3, 9. When x equal to 4, we get y equal to 3 into 4, 12. When x equal to 5, we get y equal to 3 into 5, 15. But 15 does not belong to given set. Therefore, order pair 5, 15 does not belong to given relation. So therefore, here relation is order pair 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9 and 4, 12. So next we find domain, codomain and range. Domain is set of all first element in the order pair. So here first elements are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Therefore domain of the relation R is set 1, 2, 3, 4. So next it is codomain. So codomain is full second set. Now here second set is A only. It is 1, 2, 3 up to 14. So therefore codomain is set containing 1, 2, 3 up to 14. So next it is range. So range is set of all second elements in the order pair. So it is 3, 6, 9 and 12. Here range of R is set 3, 6, 9 and 12. The next problem, so let A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, define a relation R from A to A given by R equal to set of all XY such that Y equal to X plus 1. Write down the domain, codomain and range of R. So dissipate this relation using arrow diagram. So here also you have to find domain, codomain and range of R and also you have to draw arrow diagram for this relation. Now here it is given y equal to x plus 1 and here also it is relation from a to a only that is x also belongs to a and y also belongs to a only. So we can take x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we have to find value of y. Suppose if you substitute x equal to 1 then y equal to 2 it is 1 plus 1 is 2. Substitute x equal to 2 we get 2 plus 1 3 so we get 2, 3. So next substitute x equal to 3 then y equal to 3 plus 1, 4 so it is 3, 4. So next substitute x equal to 4 we get 4 plus 1, 5 so y equal to 5. Next order pair is 4, 5. So next substitute x equal to 5. So we get y equal to 6. So it is 5 comma 6 is next order pair. If we substitute x equal to 6, we get y equal to 7. But 7 does not belong to a. So therefore 6 comma 7 is not possible. So here possible order pairs are 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5 and 5, 6. So next we find domain. So here domain is set of all first element. So here first elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So domain of the relation R is set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So next it is range of the relation. So here second element. Second elements are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here range of the relation is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So next we find codomain. So codomain is full second set. Now here relation is from A to A only. Second set is A only. So therefore codomain is set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here codomain is set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next we represent this relation in arrow diagram. So here relation is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5 and 5, 6. So we write first set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And second set also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And relation is 1 related to 2 and 2 related to 3 and 3 related to 4 and 4 related to 5 and 5 related to 6. So this is arrow diagram for the given relation. The next problem, A equal to 1, 2, 3, 5 and B equal to 4, 6, 9. Define a relation R from A to B by R equal to set of all XY such that the difference between X and Y is odd. X belongs to A, Y belongs to B. Right, R in roster form. Here given R equal to set of all XY such that the difference between X and Y is R. We have to take first element from A and second element from B and we have to write the order pair which satisfies the relation difference between X and Y is odd. Now here it is given R equal to set of all order pair XY such that difference between X and Y is odd. X belongs to A and Y belongs to B. Now we consider 1 and 4. So difference between 1 and 4 is 3. So therefore first order pair is 1, 4 is possible. So next we consider 1 and 6. Difference between 1 and 6 is 5 which is odd. 
so therefore 1,6 is also belongs to given relation next we consider 1 and 9 difference between 1 and 9 is 8 which is not odd so therefore 1 and 9 does not belong to r next we start with 2 difference between 2 and 4 is 2 so therefore it is does not belong to given relation so next we consider 2 and 6 difference between 2 and 6 is 4 which is not odd so therefore 2 and 6 does not belong to given relation so next it is 2 and 9 so difference between 2 and 9 is 7 which is a odd number so therefore 2 9 belongs to given relation so next we start with 3 difference between 3 and 4 is 1 which is odd so therefore 3 comma 4 belongs to given relation so next it is 3 6 difference between 3 and 6 is 3 it is also odd so therefore 3 6 belongs to given relation so next it is 3 and 9 relation between 3 and 9 is 6 which is not odd therefore 3 comma 9 does not belong to given relation so next we start with 5 difference between 5 and 4 is 1 which is odd so therefore 5 comma 4 belongs to given relation so next it is 5 6 difference between 5 and 6 is 1 which is odd so therefore 5 comma 6 belongs to given relation so next it is 5 and 9 difference between 5 and 9 is 4 which is not odd so therefore 5 comma 9 does not belong to given relation therefore here relation is set up all order pairs 1 4 1 6 2 9 3 4 3 6 5 4 and 5 6 so next problem define a relation r on the set n that is set of natural numbers defined by r equal to set of all xy such that y equal to x plus 5 where x is a natural number less than 4 and xy belongs to n display this relation using roster form write down the domain and range now here relation is defined on the set of natural numbers by y equal to x plus y and x is a natural number less than 4 that is first element should be natural number but it should be less than 4 so here relation is set of all xy such that y equal to x plus y and x is less than 4 and xy belongs belongs to n so now we consider x equal to 1 when x equal to 1 y equal to 6 when x equal to 2 we get y equal to 7 when x equal to 3 we get y equal to 8 so therefore relation is 1 6 2 7 and 3 8 so next we find domain and range so domain is set of all first element here domain of r is set 1 2 and 3 so that is set containing first elements of the order pair and range is set of all second element it is 6 7 and 8 so therefore range of r is set containing 6 7 and 8 the next problem, the figure shows the relation between P and Q. Write the relation in set builder form and in roster form. What is the domain and range? Here one diagram is given where 9 is related to 3 and 9 is related to minus 3. 4 is related to 2 and 4 is also related to minus 2. 25 related to 5 and 25 is also related to minus 5. Here we have to write this relation in set builder form also in roster form. Then we have to find domain and range. Now in this relation we can see that 9 is a square of 3, 9 is also square of minus 3. So therefore here x is a square of y. In this relation x is a square of y. So here 9 is square of 3 and 9 is also square of minus 3. Same type 4 is a square of 2 and 4 is a square of minus 2. And 25 is a square of 5 and 25 is also square of minus 5. So therefore here relation we can write it as r equal to set of all order per xy such that x is a square of y where x belongs to p and y belongs to q. So it is set of all order per xy such that x is a square of y. This is given relation in set builder form. In set builder form we can write r like this. So next we write r in roster form. In roster form we have to write all the elements inside the flower bracket. So here relation is 9, 3 and 9 minus 3 and 4, 2, 4 minus 2 and 25, 5 and 25 minus 5. Therefore, relation in roster form is r equal to set of all order pairs 9, 3, 9 minus 3, 4, 2, 4 minus 2, 25, 5 and 25 minus 5. So next we have to find domain and range. Now here domain is set of all first element it is 9, 4 and 25. So therefore domain of the relation is 4, 9 and 25. So next it is range. Range of the relation is 2 minus 2, 3 minus 3 and 5 minus 5. So that is set of all second element in the order pair. So it is 3 minus 3, 2 minus 2, 5 minus 5. We can write minus 2, 2, minus 3, 3 and minus 5, 5. So that is range of the relation R. Next problem. The figure shows a relationship between P and Q. Write this relation in set builder form and roster form. What is the domain and range? So same as previous problem, one diagram is given. We have to write this diagram in set builder form and roster form. Also, you have to find domain and range. Now here we consider 5 is related with 3, 6 is related with 4 and 7 is related with 5. Now here 3 is 5 minus 2, 4 is 6 minus 2 and 5 is 7 minus 2. Therefore here we can write y equal to x minus 2. So therefore this relation we can write r equal to set of all xy such that y equal to x minus 2 for all x equal to 5, 6, 7. Now here x equal to 5, 6, 7 and y is 5 minus 2, 6 minus 2 and 7 minus 2. Therefore in set builder form we can write this relation as r equal to set of all order for xy such that y equal to x minus 2 where x equal to 5, 6 and 7. So next we write this relation in roster form. In roster form we have to write all the elements inside the flower bracket. So here we can write 5, 3, 6, 4 and 7, 5. 
Therefore, roster form of this relation is set containing order pairs 5, 3, 6, 4, and 7, 5. So, next we have to find domain and range. So, here domain is set of all first element. It is 5, 6, and 7. Set containing 5, 6, 7 is domain of this relation. It is same as set E. And range is set of all second elements in the order pair. It is 3, 4, and 5. So, therefore, range is 3, 4, 5, which is same as set Q. So, therefore, range of R is set 3, 4, 5, which is same as set Q. The next problem, let A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and R be the relation on set A defined by R equal to set of all A base such that A B belongs to A and B is exactly divisible by A. So write R in roster form, find the domain of R and also find range of R. Now here relation is from set A to A only and relation is B is exactly divisible by A. That is second element should be exactly divisible by A. So here it is given R equal to set of all order press A base such that A B belongs to A and B is exactly divisible by A. So we start with 1, 1 is divisible by 1, then it is 1, 2, 2 is divisible by 1, then it is 1, 3, 3 is divisible by 1, and it is 1, 4, 4 is divisible by 1, then it is 1, 6, 6 is divisible by 1, so all are true, so therefore 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 6 belongs to given relation. Next we start with 2, we consider 2, 1, so it is 1 is divisible by 2, it is not possible, so therefore 2, 1 does not belong to given relation. So next it is 2, 2, since 2 is divisible by 2, 2, 2 belongs to given relation, next it is 2, 3, 3 is not divisible by 2, Two, so therefore 2 3 does not belong to given relation next it is 2 4 4 is divisible by 2 so therefore 2 4 belongs to given relation next it is 2 6 6 is divisible by 2 so therefore 2 6 belongs to given relation so next we start with 3 so 3 1 so 1 is not divisible by 3 and it is 3 2 2 is not divisible by 3 then it is 3 3 3 is divisible by 3 so therefore 3 3 belongs to given relation so next it is 3 4 4 is not divisible by 3 so therefore 3 4 does not belong to r then it is 3 6 6 is divisible by 3 so Therefore, 3, 6 belongs to given relation. So, next we start with 4. 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3 not possible. Then it is 4, 4. 4 divisible by 4 is true. So, therefore, 4, 4 belongs to given relation. Next it is 4, 6. 6 divisible by 4 is not true. So, therefore, 4, 6 does not belong to given relation. So, next we start with 6. 6, 1. So, since 1 is not divisible by 6, 6, 1 does not belong to R. 6, 2 does not belong to R. 6, 3 does not belong to R. 6, 4 does not belong to R. Then it is 6, 6. 6 is divisible by 6. Therefore, 6, 6 belongs to R. So therefore R is 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 6 2 2 2 4 2 6 3 3 3 6 4 4 6 6 All these order pairs satisfy the relation B is exactly divisible by A that is second element should be divisible by first element. So next we find domain of R. So here first elements are 1 2 3 4 and 6. So therefore 1 2 3 4 6 it is domain of the given relation which is same as A only. So next it is range of the relation. Here range of the relation is also 1 2 3 4 6 it is same as A. So here second element are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. So they are range of the relation R. Therefore here domain is also set A and range is also set A only. So next problem. Determine the domain and range of the relation R defined by R equal to set of all order pair x, x plus 5 where x belongs to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now here relation is x, x plus 5 where x belongs to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now here it is given R equal to set of all order pair x, x plus 5 where x belongs to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When you substitute x equal to 0, we get 0 plus 5, it is 5. So therefore, first order pair is 0, 5. When x equal to 1, we get 1 plus 5, 6. Therefore, when x equal to 1, we get 6. So therefore, next order pair is 1, 6. Substitute x equal to 2, we get 2 plus 5, it is 7. So next order pair is 2, 7. So next substitute x equal to 3, it is 3 plus 5, 8. So we get 3, 8. Next substitute x equal to 4, we get 4 plus 5, it is 9. So we get 4, 9. So next we substitute x equal to 5. It is 5 plus 5 is 10. So next order pair is 5, 10. Therefore, here relation is 0, 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, and 5, 10. So next we find domain of this relation. So here domain is set of all first element. It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here domain is set containing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So next we have to find range of this relation. Here second elements in the order pairs are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So therefore, range of this relation is set containing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So next one, write the relation R equal to set of all order pairs x, x cube where x is a prime number and less than 10 in roster form. Here relation is order pair x, x cube where x is a prime number less than 10. So here it is given R equal to order pair x, x cube where x is a prime number less than 10. 
Now here we have x equal to 2, 3, 5 and 7 which are prime numbers less than 10. Therefore x value is 2, 3, 5 and 7 only. So therefore relation is when x equal to 2 we get 2 comma 2 cube. When x equal to 3 we get 3 comma 3 cube. When x equal to 5 we get 5 comma 5 cube. When x equal to 7 we get 7 comma 7 cube. So therefore relation is order pair 2 comma 8, 3 comma 27, 5 comma 125 and 7 comma 343. So therefore relation is set containing order pairs 2, 8, 327, 5, 125 and 7, 343. This is given relation in row star form. The next one, let R be the relation on Z defined by R equal to set of all AB such that AB belongs to Z and A minus B is an integer. Find the domain and range of R. Now here we have to take A and B belong to Z that is set of integers and relation is set of all order pairs A B such that A minus B is an integer. So you have to take two integers and you have to subtract. If answer is integer then that order pair A B belongs to given relation. Now here given relation is set of all A B such that A B belongs to Z and A minus B belongs to Z. You have to take any two integers and you have to subtract. If answer belongs to Z then A B belongs to given relation. Now since you take any two integers A B then A minus B is also integer then every pair of integer is contained in R. So we can write 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 or 0, minus 1, 0, minus 2 any order pair you consider any two integers and you take order pair suppose it is 5 and 10 5 minus 10 is minus 5 it is also integer you consider 2 and minus 1 2 minus of minus 1 is 3 it is also integers we can consider any two integers and if you subtract the two integers again we get integers only therefore order pair of any two integers belongs to given relations therefore here we can write relation r equal to set of all a b such that a b belongs to z here we can consider any two integers set of all order per se b such that a b belongs to z is the given relation so here relation is set of all order per se b such that a b belongs to z now here range of r and domain of r all are set z only that is set of integers here range domain of r is set z only so that's all in this video i will continue this chapter explanation in next video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel for more video notification subscribe my youtube channel r mathematics classes again